shit. <coughs> let the um, man breathe a little bit. No, we're not gonna let him breathe, though. No, this yeah. is the show. This is the hot dab. We're well, trying to talk no, over like This is literally the premise myself. of the fucking show, Darby. That was even right. a hot dab, so. <laughs> Welcome back to another Hot Dabs episode, the final episode of season three, guest starring our friend Presson Fo Show, straight from Hawaii. Presson, thanks for joining us today. Thank you guys, thank you guys for the invitation. Let's of course. go. Of course. Preston is a small batch hash maker hailing, like I just said, from the Hawaiian Islands. So today we're going to get a unique inside perspective on what's going on out there. What do they like? What are the subtle differences, if any, between them and us? How do the Terps turn out differently in Hawaii? And can Hawaiians take hot dabs? All this and more. But first, our first dab. Are you ready to start? Yes, sir. All Are right, guys? for our first dab of the day, go. we're going to be going in at 575 degrees. That's right. And the first out of the day is going to be none other than garlic juice. Ooh. How'd that thing get on the chopping block? The garlic juice, as many know, is my favorite strain of all time. And this one seldom makes it out because I'm always smoking it all myself. So that this will never happen again in history. So if you take a look here, this is some single source. Um, this is from the boys over at Real Deal Resin. Uh, this is Fino Hunted uh, GMO Papaya Cross, but this is an outlier, so it doesn't really turn out like either of them. It's more of like a sour. It's kind of nice. like a gas profile. Wow. What do you think about that? Check it out. Mm -hmm. Beautiful color. All right. Mm -hmm. nice and nice. 575 means we're still going to get a lot of taste out of this first stab. Dropping shit already. Jenga. Uh, as everybody knows, we're going to be going in on an appropriate D2T as well, which means we're not going to go in too huge until the temperature gets rising. D2T? So I'm going to take this custom, what you just say to me, D2T. Darby? D2 what? T. 2. D. Ever heard of it? No. D2T. D2T. I don't know explain. about you, but over here we celebrate a thing called D2T, and it's the dab to temp ratio, which means depending upon the temperature that we're going in at, it will help determine how big of a dab we're going to do. That's so, true. It's not always about the temperature. You're not always going to get scorched. It's how big of a dab you're determining to do over your temperature. 575, we don't need a big one, but we need one that's going to pack a punch. So I'm going to take my Resin Bros official dabber. This is a custom. Resin Bros official, check this out. These guys hit us up. They said, hey, can we send you something? I said, fuck yeah, you can. Look at this. Craftsmanship. We nicknamed everyone they sent us. This one, you know the name? Can you guess? Twisted Metal. Look at that, mm. one twist. If you ever played the game okay. as a kid, you know. I'm gonna go in a little bit bigger nice. just because when I hear Twisted Metal, I like to get hot. Here you go. Thank I was you. like Thank the clown you. that was a ice was cream the, man. It was the best one, right? Yeah, of course. If anybody knows the clown car, there's actually a remake right now on TV, Twisted Metal. Oh. It's on like Hulu or some shit. I'll and I, I haven't checked it out, but hard to follow up the hype that is the video game. But today we're not here to talk about video games, we're here to talk about hash, we're here to talk about pressing for show specifically. And during our first dab, it's usually customary that we like to ask our guest about their first dab. Where was it? What was it? Who were you with? This is a little segment we like to call story time. Let's go. <clears throat> Alright, so like the where I first started dabbing was BHO. Of course. Of course. And uh, no, actually, now that I think about it, I think it was more like the ethanol or something, but it was like... Like a propane extract? It, it was like dark, sticky, honey. I think it was like honey ethanol. Oil. Yeah, honey oil stuff. So that kind of got me into like the dab industry, but then like learning to like dabbing off nails, a titanium nail specifically, that would be BHO. Mm -hmm. so, well, so what was your first <clears throat> dab on that, man? We can heat up as we're going, right? We'll be able to, we'll be able to hear, right, Chris? Yeah. Okay. So, if your first experience wasn't on a titanium nail, what, what, what were you dabbing on? Your very first one. So, like with the honey oil, it was just basically um, putting it on the buds, and then oh, when I like smoking bowl. yes, yeah. and then when I learned about dabbing on uh, domeless nail, I think that's what it was. Yeah, like a titanium domeless, kind of yeah. like Stanley Cup. No, actually, no, it was a domed one, right? It was a domed oh, one it was first. A dome. Yeah, you can use your finger on yeah, the like a yeah. glass bubble. So that's what I was smoking on first, and that's uh, transitioned into a domeless after a few months. Mm -hmm. 
What year was this around? Dude, this is back in 2014 or 15. Days. Yeah, that yeah. About, right. That's about the same time I started dabbing. Yeah. I'm coming in at over a thousand degrees. We're using the Predator today because I forgot the dab rights, and you're coming in at 890. Let's go. So it looks like you're going to be ready a little bit before me, so I'll keep an eye on yours. And do you need oh, a yes. marble? Oh, yes. Thank you. you. Appreciate that. Today, yep. today we're going to be using a 14 millimeter Contrabasso Hypercycler. And he's going to be using a Haps glass. I don't know what the name of the actual uh, design is. I'm sorry. But it's a recycler. It yeah. It looks and you're cool. still coming in at 800, and I am coming in at 838. So we're pretty close to being at the same temp. We're going to go in at 575. So you started with the domes, which anybody out there, I'm going to include a pick right here. But the domes were pretty cool. It was like a bubble that went around it. It was almost like a biodome mask. You could use your finger to do the carb capping because it was like around the metal nail that would go inside. But I didn't know that at the time because I would just heat it up red and just go in right when it's red. Red means go, right? Red yeah, means go. That was a time. Right? Yeah. It still is a time to some people. Yeah, right? that's why we're here. <laughs> that is why we're here. <laughs> it's bringing back all of the nostalgic memories of starting out. So when did you actually... Um, convert your ways from going in red means go to realizing shit we might have to let this nail cool down just a little bit shoot that was um way further in the industry we're ready to go i'll tell you about it after this cheers, cheers. yeah i already smoked my dab i'm sure delicious. you did darby yeah that was delicious. Dang. These Rosen Bros official for the best schools. Pretty nice. Yeah. A lot of girth to them. You should really feel it. Looks like a good time. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. A little jealous. The taste, like I said, on this 575 degree dab, phenomenal. Especially with the right D2T. This is really enjoyable. It's like that sour profile I was telling you about, right? Super smooth. This is organically grown up there in Mendocino on the hills. <clears throat> awesome lung expansion, you know? Good, yeah. A perfect cerebral high for our first dab. But enough about that. Let's get back to your first dab. You started to transition into maybe some tastier dabs when you realized to let that shit cool. Was there somebody that maybe told you, yeah, this is how you need to do it? Or where did the education start to evolve when it came to your understanding of dabbing? So that came in further when I started smoking hash rosin. So before all that, I transitioned into flower rosin. And the only reason I knew I uh, discovered flower rosin was because of Mother Rock Botanicals. Uh, so so he was already making flower rosin when yep, you were smoking he was, like BHO? Yep. Yeah. Like I didn't know about this guy and uh, one of my friends had some of his hash. And I was like, yo, where can I get that? I need to meet up with this guy. And then I had a really good connection with him. Did a lot of work with him from detailing his cars, helping him do yard work and all kind of ag agriculture work. So it didn't start out as marijuana. It was kind of just like helping out with like random chores, random yard work. Yes. Building a friendship. Yeah. But you already knew that he was making uh, flower rosin. I, I didn't. I only knew that he was a um, an artist. He's a, a DJ and an artist. If you look him up, you can find him at Fire Redbeard. Fire he, Redbeard. Fire Redbeard. So he's a he's a pretty good artist as well. It's a it's an honor to be able to uh, make a connection with him through that through his music and. Find, discovering that he's also a cannabis connoisseur, like someone that makes beautiful flower and like beautiful hash. Yeah, kind of rings true to the <clears throat> statement, like your vibe attracts your tribe. Yeah, yeah, you know? absolutely. So like when I uh, discovered him and met him and he just taught me a whole new way of, uh, of dabbing. And um, I guess he's pretty much the one that taught me about like a lower temperature and like that's where we learned off each other i think i taught him how to like clean a nail because i first got into quartz and just started learning how to like take care of it with rubbing alcohol and q-tips and that's something that he caught on to and mm -hmm. it's, it's nice to be able to we gradually like, level each other up yeah and absolutely going on each other's you know knowledge and wanting yeah. the best for each other and for yourselves yes that's cool yeah so it ended up working out good because there's some fuego yeah when you're from your way yeah it, we take a really good advantage living out there just because we don't have to worry about the 
weather changing and it's just perfect growing environment environment at all times yeah, yeah. the ecosystem the natural environment um if, if many of you may not realize you can start with the same exact seed and end up with different phenotypes but then after you have that specific phenotype cloned it should turn out relatively the same but depending upon where you grow it and the environments if you're using native soil the atmosphere the temperature the humidity um light uh, spectrums prox proximity to the equator all these things yeah. play a role in how these phenotypes are going to turn out differently so that's one unique thing about being in hawaii you're off the mainland from all of us so you might be able to grow uh the same cuts we do but it turns out differently mm -hmm. um has there ever been an instance where you have grown a cut that you've acquired from the mainland and then just by trying it or having a friend try it, they've said, man, this turns out totally different? Yep. Yeah. Actually, yep. Someone that we traded cuts with, someone from out here, and then uh, when we grew it out in Hawaii, it turned out really great for us, but then on their end, it just like didn't work out. Yeah. And bad I yield, bad turps? I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's like... It, it just uh what was it one of the strains hitman og just couldn't make it didn't survive survive the cloning none of the cuts made it through and then the og ghost train haze just freaking was uh wimping out over time and they're putting in the flower no what was it in the soil living soil indoors though so it was going, it was processing, but it was just, yeah, not yielding, not doing good. The VPD is probably way different out in the, the islands. The humidity and the moisture and the ecosystem probably is perfect for it as well. So they're for just sure. thriving, it seems like, out yep. here and even in San Diego. You're always dry. There's sometimes 13% humidity outside, and you're like, oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is yeah, but he's taking it into an indoor room. So technically, if he got the VPD of Hawaii, That's they cool. could mimic their indoor that room. But the humidity would probably be so ridiculous that it would be counterintuitive. But like when you're talking about, and another factor is you're growing sun grown, correct? Yes. A lot, we've noticed a lot of strains are going to turn out better sun grown than Agreed. indoor yield yeah. and terpenes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? that's what it's it very is. Interesting. Yeah, it's, it's strain hunting too. You can't just like, think it, it'll be this strain and then like yeah, yeah like how you said when you go for a seed and pheno hunt it's like you got to pick which yeah. one's going to do good it's for you it's not necessarily like just moving puzzle pieces from one board to the next these puzzle pieces will morph on your way over from one geographic landscape to the next turn out totally different so yeah i've had the same ex experience specifically i acquired a cut from a, a guy in um uh, Santa Barbara. So it's uh, SoCal, you know, stays warm year round. It was one of our highest yielding uh, washes ever. One plant hit 8.3%. It was a Wilson cross, and it was wow. one of those Wilson crosses that was crossed to like fucking six things. So we just called it Hella Wilson. <laughs> uh, there you go. So it did 8.3% in Santa Barbara. We got the cut from this guy. We grew it in Mendocino. It did half that. It did like 4% for us, but it was a total geographic landscape, you know? Mm -hmm. um, elevation and temperature. It wasn't yeah. warm, you know? Um, now that we got our nails cleaned up, we're almost ready for dab too, but how exactly did we get these nails so clean? Darby, can you tell us a little bit about our sponsor, Glob Mops, please? Well, I'd like to tell you about Glob Mops. Uh, they have great products. They have a lot of different products. Here's the Slurper Mop right here. They've been crushing it for a long time, and they are the originator of the mop swab for a rig or a nail in the industry. They've You're saying this is specifically engineered to clean my banger, Darby? Absolutely, in many different variations. These are the bendy ones, they have bamboo ones that don't break, and they've been doing this for about 10 years and doing a great job of it. A lot of people in the industry followed suit and provided a need that the industry clearly needed, and Glob Mops came through and took care of us. So thank you, Glob Mops, appreciate you guys, and if you haven't checked out Glob Mops already, check them out on Instagram or their website, globmops.com. Thank you, Darby. So if you guys want to keep your nails clean like we do after chasing them, check out glowmops.com, just like Darby mentioned. Ten years in the game, that's sustainability. That's hard to do. Not easy. You know what else is hard to do? 900s. 900 degree dabs, but that's not our next dab. Our next dab <laughs> is going to be 600. Are you ready for your next dab? Easy. He said easy. Let's I go. like the confidence. <laughs> He used to do seven tens. It looks like. <laughs> yeah, I think we all started on the damn e nail. I put in a seven ten, right? Absolutely. I was like seven tens, the low temp. <laughs> Me and Roz and Evo met a, a lady uh, three weeks ago that still does seven tens. So that's what she keeps the e nail set at. But that's not what we're doing. We're doing six hundreds for this dab, and for this next dab, we're gonna be going in on some pink zaza grape gas. 
Blended Run. This is a collab between Real Deal Resin and Valley Grove with the genetics supplied by Sog Army. So this is a Sonoma County, Mendocino County connection. Let's crack the seal on this bad boy. It's a good looking jar. It is a good looking jar. It's a good looking product right there. Yeah. Um, and speaking of connections, your connection to Mother Rock Botanicals uh, may have started out as a friendship, but it has definitely turned into a fruitful relationship as far as collaborations go. Can you kind of share the story of how you got into hash making, especially in the context of Hawaii's cannabis culture? So how it all started was uh, I reached out to many farmers when I was doing the flower rosin game. I was pressing for like six, maybe seven different farmers on the island. And uh, Fire Red Beard, Mother Rock Botanicals was one of them. <clears throat> Over time I just showed passion and dedication of like how I am to the industry and, and, and to the, the love of rosin. Over time, he just decided to take me under his wing, and I just decided to cut off everybody else. And yeah, it's been a beautiful bonding of just like partnership, going out to the farm, helping him do the work on the, getting your hands dirty, and learning of like being able to plant. So like, that's what's the beauty of, of this to me is like the knowledge of weed and getting into the hash making also makes me want to grow other things and I just like have a little piece of land and self-sustaining grow and got vegetables and all kind of beautiful things growing and I always thank cannabis and thank Mother Rock Botanicals for the knowledge and the green thumb to be able to shout yeah, out Mother you know, Rock yeah, 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 yeah. Mother inspiring Rock. people creating Heck futures yeah. and you know making dreams come true I huh? wish he was out here he'd be Geeking. Yeah, Next, well, we're gonna have to get him out. Mother Rock, if you're time. watching this, you're coming on season four, buddy. Let's yes. go. Come yes, on. He is. I think the most important thing to take away from what you just said is, though, is the appreciation that you gained when you went to the farm and you got your hands dirty. I feel like uh, society, a lot of times, the consumer market is so separated from the producers, whether it be our food chain, whether it be fashion, whether it be cannabis, that a lot of times I feel like the hard work, the sacrifice, especially small craft farmers who are pheno hunting, um, the consumer might not appreciate how much hard work actually goes into it and um, they might not realize the sacrifice and how much intention like you said goes into the process so that's really cool that you actually went to the farm you know you're helping him um, the the cultivation being a farmer it's usually a thankless job you know yeah. there's a big risk too there's a lot of risk that goes into it especially big if a crop time. doesn't do well even yourself big time. you know but someone said wise uh, wise said um, if you're gonna what did he say? What did he say, Darby? If, Somebody wise once said? If you're going to complain about the prizes, go check out the farm and start growing your own. And make exactly. Your own Somebody wise did say that, Darby. I read and that <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> that is a true fact that, I, that Darby is talking about. Farmers, we are nothing without them. Our food supply, our hash supply. Thank Thanks. you, farmers. Thank you for everybody Thanks. doing the work. You know, oftentimes it's thankless. So just to be um in any way contributing to getting consumers to have a further education is all we can do right absolutely and like you said another important aspect is i too like you started out cannabis you know it got me to like a homestead but then you start thinking oh i can't i don't have to just grow cannabis you know with the with this living soil you know with this with this canopy space we can be growing tomatoes you know we can have vegetables how we fire of vegetables and fruit can you grow with all these terps and all these attitudes and all these amendments you can do with the living soil imagine Absolutely. how fire your tomatoes and all your mangoes and your peaches are going to be and it's just like man i'm gonna grow some fire lettuce yeah not to mention Everything. companion cropping um a lot of crops you can plant simultaneously with your marijuana exactly and it will level out uh, soil levels mm -hmm. it'll share nitrogen um, um ipm you can keep pests off your cannabis because they'll go after maybe flowers or fruits first so something that's a little louder yeah there's a ton of subtleties that once you get into growing a lot of people say you never stop growing as a person and usually like as a hobby because it is so addicting but yeah. there's always something more to learn right absolutely um well now that we got that backstory i think it's time for our second dab right you want to try this stuff Darf? yeah let's go all right oh that's loud so for the second dab like i said we're going in on the pink side of the grape gas this is a blended wash 600 degrees. Are you ready to heat up? Right there. Yes. You got your torch, Darbs? Yeah, there you go. I'm going to go So you mentioned your Super Silver Haze and uh, what was it? OG Ghost Train Haze. OG Ghost Train Haze. 
um, you shared cuts with somebody and it didn't do well for them. How did the cuts that they shared with you do? Did it do well for you? Phenomenal. Yeah. So we kept them off. Yeah. <laughs> so that just shows the difference. It, it can be tough, especially when you're going from a some ground to an indoor environment. To Absolutely. Insane. But if you are going to a place like Hawaii, you can maybe expect everything to do a little bit better. A, a little bit better, a little bit easier. It's so it, like it's so easy, like beginner friendly. Because the environment is just so accepting for the point. Absolutely. Like what about uh, PM? Do you have any issues with that? That's the only downside you got to worry because yeah, of the right. humidity. So you need genetics that are resistant. You need some, uh, genetics that are resistant, but there are genetics that are resistant, but over time it's just like those really aren't the ones that hit, in my opinion, you know, like the ones that like throw out the PM the most would probably be stuff that are greasy, like... Really? Like, so like you papaya think papaya and, uh, and uh, the key lime. So you think uh, an indicator of them actually getting PM might indicate a higher terpene value to the plant, and that Absolutely. maybe makes them more susceptible. Absolutely. Yeah. Whereas um, that's, that's interesting. interesting. It, yeah, because you just most... have to be on top of it with like spraying it during vegetation. Of Preemptive. Then, yeah. yeah you, you like know. once you got it, you're kind of fucked. Yeah. yeah you don't want to be. It's been there for it. three weeks in the roots before it even shows exactly. up. Exactly. Sure. It, yeah. it, it's in the system. It's in the veins before it for shows up. For everyone that didn't leaf. know. PM's in the roots three weeks before it's ever shown up. So if you have it, you've had it for a month. You know, and all you have, the main best thing you could do is just stay on topping, deleafing it and- Keeping it thin. Yeah, keep, you know, air just flow. like- breathe. You're right, absolutely. Because everything's so close. We got like 50 in a row, four rows going down, so. And they're probably just thriving. Yeah. Pumping. And this is Gorilla Grown, correct? Gorilla Grown? Uh, like it's um, like- uh... Just thrown out there like on the hill? Yeah. It's yeah, ground. it's just thrown in yeah, the ground. Yeah, just exactly. no no like bed making, just to the ground, soil. Like kind of covert. That's yeah. like the yeah. soil. Yeah. yeah. So that's an interesting um, topic. How does the local environment and the climate of Hawaii impact the cultivation? Do you feel as though um, it's perfect in every regard? Do you have to add any sort of like topsoil or amendments each season or does the right. native soil kind of just replenish itself? It replenishes itself. I mean, you can always like, that's the beauty of it. You can always top it off with some small natural things like as of my uh, rock dust, which is like basically Hawaii rock dust mm -hmm. and uh, some worm casting. Just something to get the carbs to grow. Yeah, you know, some neem right, we're cake. Ready to go. That's nice. Where are you at? Yeah, I just smoked mine. It was so fire. You're at six and I'm at six. Okay. Mine hit 590 right before I took the dab. I feel like I didn't really do it. Don't worry, 650's got your back. <laughs> at 650, I'll go in at 660 to make up for the 10 I just lost. Make sure he does it, Patreon. Drop a comment. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you like what we're doing today. And uh, one more rip, uh, YouTube. So you talked about the fact that uh, the soil the vapor deficit, the humidity, it's all pretty perfect for growing, but what about the actual hash making? It's pretty warm out there. Is it tough to maintain a cold room to actually be able to extract? I mean, you can do a cool bot system, which we want to do in the future, but at the moment we just take advantage of the nighttime. So nighttime's pretty cool, depending on where you live. We live high in the mountains, I'd say like almost 2000 elevation. So oh, wow. that's about like our temperature, coldest times to be like, 60 to 64 degrees mm -hmm. you know and then we're just doing that at nighttime in an enclosed environment ac and it gets it down you know and it gets it it feels like it gets it more down and uh what is it and a dehumidifier going as well because yeah. you know humidity the moisture out yeah <clears throat> so how was that flavor guys so i'm gonna take it to you to take over for a second <coughs> cool and uh well, I got you guys. Rosin Evolution, always coming in with the fire products, fire paper, fire bags. If you're gonna be squishing some hash, if you're gonna be making any kind of hash products, Rosin Evolution's got you. RosinEvolution.com and Rosin Evolution on Instagram for all your rosin paper needs. No, I'm so anyways, real. Um, how long have you been making hash for? Um, so starting since 2016, 
I believe it's when I started flower rosin. It's when it's I started 2024 pressing. 2024 now, so you almost got a decade under your belt. What Damn. are some of your favorite flavors you've had come across the board since uh, you've been starting? OG goes train haze for sure because that's just something that's been shown to me from Mother Rock Botanicals. Yeah. So OG goes train haze, Hitman OG. Um, those are like the true first ones. Oh, White Widow. White Widow, dang, for that's sure. a classic strain. Classic. I've seen that have in that. years. Yeah, you guys and we have, have that, that one ready. We have that. Oh, we what? got it on the lock. Yeah, no man. No way. Yes, sir. Man, that was one of my favorite ones. I came running around with that in like 2016 was the last time I saw that. So you're really happy with that one? It yields well for hash? Yeah, super good. Just oh, that's like, good to know. <clears throat> it's kind of like a GMO, but like something a little bit special to it. Yeah, there's a different smell. It reminds, I smell it like it reminds me of high school. That's yeah. the last time I smelled it. Right, exactly. So it's cool to be able to have those certain strains. Like, I don't know if that much people have uh, that certain type of white widow and uh, the certain type of OG ghost train haze that we have. Yeah, because isn't Subcool the guy that did the OG ghost train haze? Uh, originally bred it. Is that who it was? Subcool? Hmm. He passed away, right? That That's guy? right. Okay. It might have been. I don't... Well, the, it was just the ghost train haze that he did. Yeah, but it's the OG Ghost Train so Haze. So it might have been a different... That's so what you're... I mean, because everybody say Ghost Train Haze, but I'm like, but it's yeah. the OG Ghost yeah, Train Haze. Yeah, this is the cross, so right? that's pretty cool. Because it's the old... I, it, it'd be exciting to see those different variations, yeah. especially on the island grown. Absolutely, that's, that's what I'm cool. saying, yeah. So the White Widow is the other one that you're yeah. pretty happy with? That's yeah, a good we're one. pretty stoked on those. Where's the papaya sit on the list? Like where'd it come from? No, no. Where's it sit on the list of like your top, you know, oh, ten your papaya favorites? Oh, papaya will definitely be in the top three for sure. Top three? Yeah. You like it more than the White Widow? So no, I would say papaya is never top three because papaya sucks. So let's just stop <laughs> you right there. <laughs> where would you put papaya? At? Papaya, I would put as one of the strains that is the most easy to cultivate. So no matter for how sure. bad of a job you do, if you're growing Poochie's papaya or if you're growing the right cut of papaya, people are gonna love that shit, you know? Absolutely. So that's the only reason I talk shit, but I'm just being a dickhead. Is that the truth about honey bananas too? No, honey banana can turn out totally different. It can taste like a green banana. And if you don't Ugh. take it enough days, if you don't take it over 70 days, this is for Patreon only because I'm not giving out this tech for everybody that's gonna try to beat us in competition. Some strains have a sweet point that's earlier, like Skittles, and the earlier you harvest it, the sweeter it's gonna True. be. Other strains, like honey banana, you need to take it longer. This is all figured out by experimentation, you know? Running a crops strain more than once. Have you ever noticed that taking your papaya earlier? Because I'm gonna say papaya right now, you can take it fucking 44 days, 45 days, you know? Have you ever noticed that taking it sooner as opposed to later creates a difference or a subtlety in the taste? Well, we don't. We try our best not to take it sooner. We try to let that run as much as possible, even if like so papaya is one of those like pm kind of like reactive just because it's so good and greasy mm -hmm. so we just have to watch on it make sure it doesn't hit the bud it's a day by day no. yeah just day by day watching it just like oh man it's looking like it can go a little longer it can go a little longer <laughs> so you let it go as long as you yeah, possibly can absolutely. do you know how long you usually harvest it around I'm not really good at the dates Mother Rock is. Just Mother Rock, his. leave a comment below yeah, and Mother tell Rock, us when you're harvesting your papaya. <laughs> Absolutely. 55 or 65? No, but honestly, uh, papaya is notorious, especially for indoor growers that want to get as many cycles in uh, per year as you can harvest mm -hmm. that shit She's very early, girl. early. Yes, and it's still going to sure. turn out phenomenal because, like I said, it for just sure. has such an overwhelming profile. That's but awesome. it is phenomenal. Um, it's one of my it, favorite flavors. It is also, all I smoke is papaya, actually. It's my favorite flavor of all time. Press and Push Show has the best papaya in the game. It's all I'll smoke. Um, every time I come over here, Roz and Evo is like, bro, you gotta try this papaya. And I'm like, fuck, dude. Yep, always happy when you're always, show up. Always, you know? You guys do an incredible job. You may be the best at the papaya. Thank you. Um, have you ever tried uh, Skittles or some genetics that are notorious for not being cloned well in the states in the mainland uh out in hawaii do you know how those perform like a skit no yeah I have mean, you guys like, ever grown a skittles that would be interesting we do we have so a watermelon sweet. skittles uh, that's different though is that from third gen probably yeah no that was from uh 710 labs but so i don't know genetics, where they got it from so yeah. it could be third gen yeah, yeah. how is it good Really I'm gonna good. give you our Skittles but pack. And personally, I'm it's not like I'm not a Skittles fan oh, at the same see? time. No, see, uh, I hate no. papaya. <laughs> favorite too. He hates Skittles. That's just and I hate Trop Cherry. You know, like everybody has the rainbows or rainbow belts or Skittles, and I'm just like, nah. Rainbow <laughs> belts is what a lot of people call like Diet Z. 
unless you have like a good cut, you know, is, like yeah. unless it actually has some gas to it. Like a lot of these crosses of Z hybrids, everybody's looking for that thing that's going to be the ne next best thing, but it's tough to mimic that great, you know, that once in a lifetime, that generational, like papaya, right? Like yeah. Yeah. all these papaya crosses that people come out with, have you came across anything that's truly unique and it's not just tasting like a watered down papaya? From other people's like... Anybody, other... yeah. Um, Maybe you guys have something I haven't see. tried. I'm trying to think who whose papaya have I tried that like turned out the blue. If your you mind. have a papaya that you think is different, leave a comment below and let us know why I'm tripping and I'm a fucking idiot. I'm trying to think, I don't really know. So, so I'm far. right. I'm so you don't like... have to leave a comment. We've just been proven correct. All the papayas are the same, and you know, oh shit, I haven't been smoking your stuff this entire time. I forgot. You gotta try. I'm an someone. idiot. I'm here with a hash maker, and I'm smoking my own hash. Well, that's hey, a I'm honored. Opportunity for a the rookie next fucking mistake. No, I'm I'm honored. Like this I've is been a fan of the Strong real deal. No, man, come yes. on, you're being you're being. No, I've been a fan of the real deal, so I'm honored. Let's pull this up. This is papaya stranana. So one thing I have been saying in 2024, I think stranana is gonna make a comeback. You know, mm -hmm. back in the day, it was one of the early hash strains: cookies and cream, stranana. Um, that's true. Like what? White Tahoe cookies. Those were kind of like the the staples back in the day. I feel like it's gonna make a comeback. What do you think? Absolutely. Sean Anna is a really good one. I it's love the smoothie also. turds. Yeah. It was weirdly freaky when this one came out when we blended it, washed it. We we're just like This is almost eat. like a You're diaper like... bubble gum. It's like uh diaper. It is. It has like the funk of a diaper, but it has like the sweetness of a bubble gum to it. And honestly, it does turn out a little bit different than other papaya crosses I've had. Darby, I'm gonna toss it to you to get it started. Yeah, you gotta get some. Thanks for taking over for me, Darbs. Hey, no problem. Sometimes you have to poop. This is a good episode. <laughs> yeah. When nature calls, glob moths. <laughs> <laughs> we actually glob the whole time. It's all we use. Uh, we right, get, actually, great. Dude Wipes like, does sponsor all the big podcasts. Dude Wipes, hit us up. Dude Wipes, hit us up. We're dudes. We Wait, wipe. Can I see your dabber? Yes, sir. So I can I'm scoop this little... one? You gonna do a big one? No, I'm gonna clean it for you so oh, you can get a good shit. scoop for it. See, this okay. is a man who cares. This is something that's not often talked about. So I got gonna, a dirty dabber. We're so gonna I delve into a little it. tech right now. When you're doing competitions, especially when you're judging, so you're at the smoking jacket, thrown by Chirag, I'm in Portland, Oregon. Um, they're gonna make sure that you have a clean fucking dabber in between every dab, because if you're gonna be judging and you wanna give every entry its respectful dignity, you can't have the last entry on your dabber or it'll create some type of overlap. It might even overwhelm it if it's like a papaya, you know? That's true. So, always keep your dabbers clean if you want to get a pure representation of the flavor you're dabbing. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. All right, are we about to get ready for our third dab right now? Yes, sir. That's what we're doing? Let's go. All right, for our third dab of the day. Hold on, Darby. I'm clean. I know. Clean. <laughs> they're, clean. Really, they're flipping out in the back. He's I already fucking forgot. <laughs> I'm cleaning my dabber. Clean Tony dabber. Hawk just broke his fucking skateboard over his leg. He's pissed off. He said, I, I, I skated all the way here. I caught the fucking Metro to come here. To he grinded skate. one combo the whole way. I retired from one 900 to do another 900 and you forget about me? No, we didn't forget. Don't worry. For the next dab, we're going to be going in at 650 motherfucking degrees. Ow! Is what your lungs are going to say. Now, a word from our sponsor. What brand do you really trust for all your stuff? Raw's an evolution from everything from their wash bags to their whipping tools. Dang, they got all that stuff? They do. Ooh, baby! Wash bags. Wash bags. Parchment paper. Parchment paper. Whipping tools. Whipping tools. Raw's and bags. Raw's and bags. No blowouts. All bags. Every bag size. Raw's and evolution. Squish it all. <laughs> got him. And for our 650, <laughs> Dave still doesn't think I'm gonna remember. He's still pointing at it. Production. 
for our 650 degree dab, we're gonna be going in on some. I'm gonna need that camera to cut quicker next time, Sarah, because you know where it's going. Moroccan <laughs> beaches. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but the theme of the year is accountability and intention. So with the right intention, we can be accountable for everything we do and we can all be better together. Speaking about intention. Speaking of being better, check out this Moroccan peaches. This is some good hash. Mm. And speaking of good hash, this isn't the only hash that we have available for your third dab of the day, my friend. How are you feeling right now? Feeling fantastic. Yeah. Ready for that third You're looking dab. Looking fantastic. I have the worst hair on the show today. Um, no. If you make hair care products out there, hit me up because I'm going to try to catch up the Darby. Look at him flexing on all of us. He yes. said, I'm not wearing a hat today. Do, do the Adam Hill grab. He said he got out of the shower and looking like that. <laughs> he did, right? What? Yeah. No and you said you just got done surfing and yours looks like that. So you're both in the yeah. same boat. Yeah, I can't brush my hair after I get out of the shower. It'll just fucking get knotted. <laughs> this is some Moroccan yes. peaches, yes. courtesy of Auti Farms. Auti is also a hash maker, one of the best ever, one of my role models. And he blessed us with this collab five That's years true. after our first collab, where he ran our product, we ran his product. So talk about full circle. This is Moroccan peaches. Uh, this one is going to taste like a peach Arizona iced tea. It has that fuzzy peach flavor to it. it has that dope ass packaging from Dunn Supply. This yeah, is our dope ass packaging. Dope ass packaging by my boy Dunn Supply over there in Pittsburgh, killing the game. Just had a newborn. Congrats, my friend. Congrats, it's buddy. all in the family. And today we're gonna rip one of these. I think the D2T needs to be up a little bit. We're at 650, which means I'm doing a hot boy. Well, but D2T. D2T. A half gram. Yes, a half gram. I believe. That's right. But for you, we have an option, my friend. Options. And they thought I forgot about this six different times, but I did not forget. I only remembered, and I did remember we have an option for you. For you. Uh, what's, what's the option? Your option is instead of dabbing this beautiful Moroccan peaches that I just hyped up ever so greatly. It is awesome. You could just dab some entirely different shit. What? What? No. <laughs> We're going to dab the Moroccan Moroccan, yeah. You have the Tell choice more. to turn. I'm going to turn around here. We have these plates what? heated up, I hope, what? because I didn't check them, to 180 degrees. And we're going to do a fresh off the press dab on this low temp plate. The drip is going to go directly into your banger. Oh, and you're going to get to inhale it directly off the press as big of a dab as you want. That's your other option, my friend. I was about to see if you told case. me that. I should have just told you that. Let's go. You should have just told me that from you the beginning. You want that option? Absolutely. Okay. Let's go. So fresh today, off the press. This one he's going to be going fresh off the press. He's seen the show. He knows how it works. I'm going to be going in on his pressing for show because I'm an idiot and I forgot that he has all this fire right beside us. We're going to have to go through everything else you brought after this. But first, we got to summon the hawk, the Christmas hawk, the Tony hawk, the formerly 900 on the ramp and 900 on the nail, the one, the only. Some calling them the imposter, but those people are going to get blocked. Fuck you. Bring out the hawk. <laughs> Bring out the hawk. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Jesus Christ, he does this every fucking time. <laughs> Try to hype him up. The anticipation. Oh. We're calling him. Oh. He just needed it a few more times. There, there he is. Look who shows up. The hawk is He here. just flew in. How are you? That's how you know it's the real hawk, because he came in with the secret Tony Hawk. Handshake. Nice to meet you. Nobody was Tony Hawk. 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 Nobody was Tony Sounds if reasonable. He's, if he's lucky. And the, are the plates heated up? What kind of plates do you ask? 180 degrees. Low 180 plates. degrees. Just by feeling them on the back of his fingers, he knew they yeah. were ready to go. No That's is this the low Ooh. temp? This is the low temp plates. Beautiful. Beautiful. Today we're going to be going in on what? Full spec. Black ice. Black ice. 70 to 149. You? Or is it 40 you included? What's so full spec? That's a whole different, sure. entirely different what? question. If you know what full spec what is, is, drop what it is in the full comments. Spec in your what opinion. is full spec to you guys? It, technically, it, should, it would be literally like... Every bag? Yeah, yes. it would be 40 to 220 if you're really talking about like a full spectrum. But then if you're talking about shit that you can actually package, clearly the 220 would be out and it would be like, you could probably pull off a 40 to 180. But I, realistically, like a 40 to 149, you could still have a great product. I feel like the 40 out is going to give you a better flavor though. That's what everybody does. But then that's not full spec. But some idiots will still say, oh, if it's 70 to 149 you, that's full what spec. What if you just, just don't use the 40 more bag? Spec. More spec isn't full spec. What do you think? No one uses 25? No. Oh. We do, we do. Really? Yeah. Like in this, there's 25? No, not oh, in okay. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's He's like, like well, this. we have a bag. We've, no, got, no, no, no. We've got two different options. 
That one's like premium, which would be our 70 and 120. We don't do 90. Yeah. We don't do 90. Wait, you pull Y. Oh, no, you mean you just skip over it. It's included, though. You're not saying you pull yeah, it out. Basically, yeah, basically, we don't included. use the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just you don't need to. Skip he just, it. He just right. smokes You're it. doing 70 to 149U, and it stops there. Right. Yeah, that's exactly what we do. <clears throat> and then, so for like Sometimes the full spectrum stuff, I have any. It's a little bit darker, but it includes 25. And then it, uh, what does it go to? 25. We don't include 45. We use second press of 70 and 120, you know, the premium stuff. Looks because... like you smoked the hell out of that one. Yeah, you smoked the hell Must out of that one. Must be fire. One. Is there What's anything it? in there? Yeah, there's Am a I tripping? Bit. This is the oh, window. Man. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's good, trust it's me. It's in there. <laughs> I smoked the shit out of it. Oh, right here. Here, there's a little bit more. I'm, I'm a little, I like to dig in the middle. For some reason, I'm more of a middle guy. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's really. Comment if you're a middle yeah. guy or an outer Audi guy. Are you an in I'm or an, an outer Audi? guy? I'm an Audi too. I just like that, like wet, juicy, terpy little. I'm not mad at Say so you get to the center first. Yeah, he smokes yeah. the tip of the nug. When you eat a Reese's, do so you good. eat the center out and then leave the outside? Damn, I should do that. <laughs> All right, see, we're Let's figuring go. shit out. <laughs> That's good. So that's for the uh, people on a budget that you people can still. Budget, I never. Yeah. yeah, we we put our twenty five into the edible grade, but that's a good choice for people that are on a budget that still want to be able to smoke solvents. So it basically has every strain or every micron, but no two twenty. Mm -hmm. Clearly, you don't want that. No, you don't yeah. want that. I oh, just put half a little time. Oh, goosey, goosey. Here it comes. Let's go. You got this, my guy. Thank you, thank you, darling. Oh, I'm zebra striping. I see that one. I've heard of the zebra stripe before. <laughs> How are we doing? Hey! Ooh, look at this guy. He knew what he's doing. He's been around a press once or twice. A couple times, I think. <laughs> Today we have Young Press Info Show coming from Hawaii to the mainland of America to show everyone how to slurp the turf straight off the press, fresh Beautiful. off the press. Jeez. From the land down under to the San Diego Honda, he is ripping and dipping. That's the control tower, the hot dab tower, black ice, marble draw, zebra striped. <laughs> hey, you smoked 10 grams, huh? <laughs> this papaya straw nano is beautiful even at the high temperature that I put it at. It was really good. I got some zebra stripe action on my side. Yeah, I saw that. I agree with you. It's worth it. Dang. Oh, I don't know. Whoa. That was savage. Thank you. Sir, congratulations. Darby, while we catch our breath from that fresh off the press dab, can you tell us a little bit about the low temp plates and that uh, rosin evo paper that we're using today? Well, that's the 55 pound rosin evo paper paired with the 25 micron rosin evo bags over in the low temp plates. And the low temp plates are the best premium hash smashing device on the market right now. It's got an amazing uh, head unit device that stores all the information you need. It displays. That's a recipe, size. you could call it, right, Darby? You, yeah. you pre put your recipe, your bag size, and it knows what you want to do. Perfect for consistency, large batch runs, facilities. You'll be able to do it very consistent the entire time. And it shows you exactly all the information that you need while processing it from bag size to weight to temperature of both plates and pressure. Now you mentioned bag size, Darby. What bags were we using today? We didn't have to worry about a blowout by using the Rosin Evo mesh bags, correct? No, we didn't, ever. But we double bag it always. I think they were like the two by 3.5s. Yes, and I believe 25 micron today. That's what I was saying earlier, yeah. 25 <laughs> micron, and look how amazing that hash looks. God dang. Well, everyone, if you have a chance, go check out Rosin Evolution and low temp plates. They're gonna be uh, an amazing source for all of your hash making and supplies, or your hash making needs. All the supplies you need. Rosaniva.com. You got like a half gram in your in the stem now, huh? Yeah. That's how you get lost when you're just dipping in the sauce. Dog, mm -hmm. you, you took a couple of drips to the face. Mm -hmm. One was done, you hit the other one. That was a nice dab, my friend. He's like, I got this. <laughs> That's some heat there.
forgot how his leg going off the fresh press like right? that. Right? Right? Well, it was a proper D2T. D2T. That's me. That's dad the temp. Dad to temp. <laughs> Tell your friends. Speaking of dad the temp, can you discuss any notable sustainability practices, initiatives that within the cannabis industry you find inspiring? Quality over quantity. <laughs> What did you, you call me? What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> Any room. First off, I didn't understand what you said. Second off, since I didn't <laughs> understand you, I'm going to take disrespect. <laughs> Can you discuss any notable, you talked about how you grew an appreciation and you wanted to grow other things besides just cannabis by working with Mother Rock. Can you discuss any notable sustainable practices or initiatives within the cannabis industry in Hawaii that you find inspiring, regenerative, things such of that nature? Oh yeah, just like, oh, uh, thank you. Just so uh, like, <laughs> you know, um, stuff. You know, any stuff? Growing mm -hmm. things healthy. Remember that show, Growing Pains, from the 90s? Oh, yeah, I do. That was a sick one. Yep. I was a Happy Days fan. That though. one dude's name was like Boner. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that one kid's name was Boner. You couldn't get away with that today. Oh, man. Okay. So, like, practices. Yeah, sustainability, you know, no big deal. Yeah, like, you know, just growing my own stuff. Or really? anything that you're into that you're inspired by. What type of practices? Are there any... um? What about like K and F, like anything, dude? Did they oh. do anything that inspires you out there? <coughs> oh shit! Let the um, man breathe a little bit. No, we're not gonna let him breathe, though. No, this yeah. is the show. This is the hot dad <laughs> well, trying to talk no, over here. Like this is literally the premise myself. of the fucking show, Darby. That wasn't right. even a hot dad yet. So, he said that no. wasn't hot enough. Nah, that You're was medium. Fucked, buddy, you still got two more. Oh shit! <laughs> shit. Welcome to Thunderdome. <clears throat> All right, so no, I haven't done like any K and Fing. No Korean natural farming, just like natural practices. Some like making my own tea, whether it be sprouted popcorn seeds and then uh, blend it up, throw it in and throw it in my own little Tupperware, or like whenever I wash my dog, it's with the oatmeal bath, mm -hmm. and then I put that in the Tupperware, let that sit. So it's kind of like can effing but I'm not getting like sugars or alcohol mm -hmm. yeah so um what about uh the education in Hawaii how's the market out there I heard that slurper use was actually started in Hawaii more uh how's the dabbing community out there and what do they actually prefer is the slurper <laughs> rumor true were you guys doing it out there way before us I wouldn't say that but I mean a lot of people were like just because we're in a smaller island Maybe. The culture builds faster because there's. I heard they like were selling them to maybe. you guys. Yeah, yeah, I heard they were getting sold to the island first. Really? Yeah, we're talking about That's the cool slurper to know. design, but. Uh, I mean, I could see that being. Design? I could see that yeah. being true. What about uh, the education as far as solvents goes? Is there an appreciation and a market for it, or is it still a lot of people are just looking for the cheapest stuff, like how you used to dab back in the day, like a BHO? Basically, yeah. yeah. That too, you know, so some people, it's, the slurper is big out there, but it's like some people don't pay for the high grade stuff just yeah. for the cheap. Smoking some fire CRC out of their slurpers. Mm -hmm. For sure. Oh, yeah. What about uh, any like community bomb. events? Are there any like sessions or local meetups out there that help like further the movement? Or is it more like all social media? Excuse me. Hold if you, on, if you need to take a break, we can take no, a No, I was going <laughs> to. I was gonna burp, but they didn't come out. My bad. You're good. Come again. Thanks, Can you guys Patreon. do that again? So the Hawaii Cannabis Cup was one of the things out there. I was there for 2019. Is there any other kind of events out there that you prefer or you find as Where is that at? In uh, Waikiki. Okay, in Oahu. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 2019, it was out there. And yeah, is there any ones that you like out there? Any specific hash events, maybe? So that's the thing, I haven't really been to any events, no. really. No, I mean, so like there's only one event that I've been to, which was like a, a the Brubra sesh in Kauai. Okay. So Mother Rock and I were out there and we went cool. to go check that out, had a little sesh. That was pretty fun, but other than that, we don't really go to any like events. There's not a lot of pop-ups. No, not on the big island. We would have to travel to Oahu for that and we're not really much of travelers. Yeah. Next Resin Mania. Where's the main Hawaii. Hawaii, Hawaii. Mm. Big island. 
I think the only thing we can do at this point is move on to our next dab. Oh shit, let's go. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm ready. For our next dab, we're gonna be going in at 700 degrees. And for a 700 degree dab today, we're gonna be going in on some Gazungus number one. This is another single source flavor from Real Deal Resin. This Gazungus, I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it's a like a rainbow chip Skittles cross or something of that. It's a Skittles cross for sure. This one is like a peanut butter uh, French toast. It's almost like a cap and crunch peanut butter French toast. Smell that one. That sounds fire. Fire. I like the way it sounds. <clears throat> And since it's our fourth, oh shit. And, and since <laughs> it's our fourth dab of the day, we have the Rosin Roulette Wheel. This is the Rosin Roulette Wheel, presented by Rosin Evolution. This little bad boy is gonna be able to give us a little power up on this fourth dab. It could help us, it could hurt us, it could give us, it usually always, and it always will give us what we need. It's the wheel, it never lies. No. This is your chance to let go, let God, let the wheel decide. Let the wheel take the wheel. All right. You want to give it a spin? Let's give it a spin. All right. He doesn't even know what's on it. He's spinning blind. Oof, there's some heaters on there. You can go to the left or to the right. Don't matter. Nope. Oh, God, let's go. Oh, that was a good spin. And you got lucky today because instead of going in at 700 degrees, you landed on 800. Yes! Lucky. So that means we get to go in at 800 degrees for this dab, which means the D2T is going to have to be picked up. So take as big of a dab as you want because it's going to help cool down that nail. And he said we because we're going in with you. Yeah, we are. You're not we're doing all. this alone, buddy. Let's do this. So uh, I think band. we should all do at least a half gram, if not a full gram on this 800 degree. I think we should all do a gram. Gram, okay. A gram? Yeah. Is that a gram? Yeah, if that's what you want it to be, that's a gram. That's a gram? Damn, my measuring skills off. That's okay. Boop. All right, for this gram dab at 800 degrees, <laughs> we're gonna be going in on some control towers. Do you have your nail? It's gonna be the perfect amount of surface area. Yeah, you can lift that. Why did I talk myself into this? You're at a thousand. So we're pretty much on the same thing. Yeah. Is there any Hawaiian slang that you guys use that we don't use in the mainland? Like when you talk about like maybe hash being fire or you know East Coasters say Zaza. Is there any slang in Hawaii that's different from ours that we don't know about? You're at 900. Let's see. Um, no, I think it's the same. I think it's about the same. Good? Yep. <laughs> Who's he be striping? <laughs> you guys don't have any fucking slang you can tell us about? You just don't want the Hallies to know. You know we're gonna start saying it. Nope, I say it's the same. What are over there, Darby? We're doing 800. There's no way you should reheat it at 800. It wasn't hot enough. Darby went in with one torch and two barrels. I'd say it's the same. Fire. It's worse than two girls one cup, Darby. Oh, it tastes worse, too. Good. What do you say? Figgle? Fuego. Oh, fuego. So you do speak Spanish out there. A little bit. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. Look at all. Cut to the milk in Darby's rig. <laughs> you can't see it. <laughs> Left it. Look at that. They were hot. <laughs> it's oh okay. my god. You're following them up after me now, Darby. It's okay. I don't know what happened. This episode's going off the fucking rails quick, guys. <laughs> Alright, we're taking... We're taking five. 
All right, we're back. Thanks, Patreon. Now you know what we're up All to. All right, you ready? Uh... How are you guys feeling? Oh, so uh, that last dab was powered by Highly Educated. Highly Educated, the control tower, the hot dab tower. We have the custom. Where's your, da where's your dab at? We got the custom hot dab tower. It says hot dabs right on it. <laughs> if you've seen it, it's badass. If you haven't, go check out yeah. the Instagram. All right, here it is. Look at that this puppy. This is the custom hot dabs control tower. Darby, you want to tell us a little bit about the highly educated control towers that we've been using this whole episode? I mean, beyond being amazing, thick borosilicate, they're able to withstand 900 degree dabs with no problem. Probably the strongest bangers on the planet. So if you need a good banger or a, new, a good control tower, highly educated. Go check them out. Highlyeducated.com. <clears throat> They have the control towers that make the most out of that surface area with the SE pillar insert for hot dabs, low temp dabs, and everything in between. Highly educated. Got what you need. Highlyeducated.com. Question, is it extra to get the hot dabs logo on the banger? Right now, they're not even available. He just custom made this small batch for us. We gave one away on our Instagram page. So if you guys aren't following us on Instagram, go over to at hot dabs. What's your Instagram? At Preston Faux Show. Preston Faux. And at Dr. Darby. And you never know what kind of giveaway we're going to be doing. So you have a chance to win different things. We're, we, we are running a Resin uh, Bros official giveaway right now, but that's going to be long gone by the time this airs. These are sick. <laughs> that one's name is Joe Lee. Jolene. Jolene. It's a good song. It's a beautiful design. Mm -hmm. Dolly. Mm -hmm. Legend. Why don't you tell us a little about these strains you have in front of us? <clears throat> I have all kinds of different blends in front of us. Darby has the papaya straw nano. Mm -hmm. Yep. Party and gift? No. <laughs> <laughs> Put them on here and describe what you have. This Absolutely. was all extracted in Hawaii. Dang. All right, all right. So, Exotic turf. Should we start with the First or best to last, what would you? It's up to you. Yeah. All right. So, so for something gassy and appealing that some people don't really like as modes, but no, nah, that one. Money bad. cake. Gassy, huh? Monkey cake. Yeah. Monkey so it's like cake. it's got a uh, grease monkey. Okay. And uh, papaya cake. Oh, papaya so, case fire. So yeah. That's a, that's a good yielder then too. Yeah, right, right. Nice. So I don't know. For some reason, I wouldn't say people like to go after that one as much. But, you know, it's still a hitter. Really good. Nice and tasty. And then the next upcoming would be the Widow D. Widow D. Yeah, so that nice. one would be like the White Widow and Chem D. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Really good Ooh, blend as well. Man, now that, that's that super one really nice gas. Check super this out. Super gas, yeah. The White Widow is super old school. You don't really see it around as much anymore, but it gets super coated with resin, and the Chem D Absolutely. has all that fuel. It usually yields good too. How's this one yield for you? Really good, yeah. So the White Widow does a really good yield, and then the Chem D is a pretty, pretty decent, decent yield there as well. Mm -hmm. The next upcoming would be the Lime Sherbert. Ooh, so that one would good. be the Key Lime. Um, oh. Key lime pie is one of my favorites. Yep, this key lime pie amazing. and uh, sunset sherbet. That's what it was. And key lime think. pie is already, I think, like a relative two sherb, so it's kind of like uh, two sherbs together. But the key lime is more sweet. This one smells phenomenal. So like all the colors, you can, you can tell like the we we don't have the same like color textured like same white resin, but like even this, this is like kind of old. Like I have it all in my phone of like when. We harvested mm -hmm. when we washed it, pressed it, jarred it. So all of it just has that slightly different tint. Plus, it's like outdoor. Mm -hmm. I mean, that yeah, just means so, we're mature, so it's right. just gonna give yeah, you mature resin. Like, course, yeah, mature yeah. resin. <clears throat> Growing it all the way. Yeah, you said maturity. you guys like to take it as long as you possibly can. And following up of like showing you presenting these jars too. This is all in my favorite, as well as how it sells too. Mm -hmm. Nice. So the OG Ghost Train Haze, this is my personal favorite from day one. And I'm glad that we have like a bunch load just to be able Ooh, to wash it. This smells like XJ13. That haze really yeah, yeah. comes through. Pine Solly, green mango. Um, I like to say the cat pee pee, cat pee. Yeah. yeah. You know? I'll be honest, that's one of my <clears throat> favorite flavors. Yeah, so that one is a pretty good hitter. People love to get that one. And then the next ones would be like, you know, 
papaya. Everyone loves papaya. So the lime papaya. This is the key lime papaya. Gross. Yeah. Gross. Or no, blend. Ooh. Key lime pie and papaya blended Ooh. wash. Oh, blended that wash. That smells awesome. Yeah. And usually when I present the name, it's usually the more dominant mm -hmm. of how much we wash. Ratio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then like the best would be like grape papaya spotty. So sometimes we'll do like more dominant papaya, but we accidentally did like a more dominant grape papaya, uh, grape spotty. So now it's a super grapey, like nerds candy wow. kind of flavor. Yeah, it's yeah. a really unique. That's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's nerds really candy. Really unique terps. It's almost like a grape huggy esque also. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're all going to have a nice little smoking fiesta up in here. Look at that. Hawaiian, all Hawaiian grown by Mother Rock Botanicals. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And you work with them exclusively, you said now, yeah? Yes, sir. That's beautiful. All these profiles are so pronounced. Like you said, uh, uh, don't judge the color because that's mature resin taken to full maturity. And a lot of times that brings out the full flavor of things. Um, you said your, your favorite is this great papaya spodi. Yep. Wow. You gotta smell this one, Darby. So what's funny is everyone calls it Spotty. Everyone, but we call it Spotty. So. Oh, Spotty. Yeah, but oh, it, okay. it, you can say it however you want it. Huh. It's just so funny hearing Dang. everyone say uh, Spotty <clears throat> or nice. Spotty. Yeah. Like yeah. everyone has their uh, their ways, but call it whatever you want. It's still gonna taste really good. Hey, it smells so good. It smells it's, amazing. This is really nice. This is beautiful. So if you are in Hawaii or if you are in relation to anybody that knows the right person, you can try these Hawaiian turds. Mm -hmm. It's the best way to get in touch with you. Uh, or do you not want to get in touch with just just through Instagram. Yeah. If you can find us through Instagram and uh, if you have a mutual friend that you've tried it and they could shout you out, mm -hmm. then that's the best way to hit us up. Awesome. Or at least, you know. He's gonna, the best. he's gonna hit, hit you're gonna hit a mother rock and then mother rock's just gonna present you to me so yeah. either way takes one to know one yeah what? but yeah none, none of this oh, no could boss. happen without uh rosin evolution you know like rosin this is all made using rosin evo products yeah just wow, from what you from the that? bags from the parchment papers from oh from the bubble washing so everything everything so without them we've Gonna have it done. Damn. No worries, no blowouts. Raws and Evo, where the winners go. We love Thank them. You, we love Evo. them. We all yeah. love you. Thank you. Everybody uses them. What we do you think, it. Darbs? Are you ready for our last dab of the day? I think that would be an awesome thing. What do you guys think at home? Should we do the last dab? Let's drop a comment on how much we should drop uh, a comment. smoke. Should we lock ourselves in here for 24 <clears throat> hours? He doesn't know, but we already did lock the doors. Oh. We're stuck in here. Live stream starts now. Let's play a game. A <laughs> hundred dabs. Oh, uh, shit. For the last dab, we are going to be going in at 750 degrees. <laughs> and for our 750 degree dab, we're going to be going in on some Namwa. This is Banana OG Mimosa V2 from Symbiotic Genetics. This was phenol hunted by us. Symbiotic gifted us some seed starts like two or three years ago. He had started some seeds, so he gifted me some babies. Went through a tumultuous year, had to run around through some properties with them. A lot of them got uprooted, but we got some phenos that came through. And this one is one of my favorites. It's like a banana orange juice. So that one. We're gonna be going in at 750 degrees. We are also Going to be playing the last dab mini game. And no longer is the last dab mini game hold in 900 degrees as long as you can. That game has been retired officially. Trichome Tortoise is the final champion of the last dab mini he game. He crushed it. I can't believe that guy can hold his breath that long. It's, he is actually a tortoise, so nobody, when they hear the record, even wants to attempt it. So that game has been officially retired. Tricom Tortoise is the champion. So the final and last dab minigame going forward is going to be D-A-B. That's right, it spells dab. We're going to be taking one giant dab. This is the 8-inch banger. 
courtesy of Black Market Glass. Darby, can you tell us a little bit about this Black Market Glass? Black Market Glass is an amazing maker of awesome borosilicate products. That thing right there is what, 14, 16 inches long? No, it's, it's gonna like be eight, eight inches, inches long. <laughs> but yeah. there is a bunch of little uh, etching marks on it to where the last dab mini game is gonna have you hitting it and you go as high as you can for as long as you can and there's a equation that we put together, how long you hit it times how high you go and then you come up with a number. And this is something amazing that it's not for the faint of heart, but it's gonna be a hitter. It's not for the Ooh. faint of heart indeed, Darby, and you're going to have to sign a waiver to play this game. And if you want to play from home, we don't recommend it, but you can tag me and we will play. Let's go. But that's going to be for subscribers only on the Instagram oh. channel. If you subscribe to the Instagram, you can tag us and we have these videos being uploaded to subscribers only, us playing the last dead minigame. So, are you down to play this game today? I mean, I already signed the waiver, so... <laughs> you ain't no baby. Let's go. We already signed the waiver, so we are playing the last dab mini game. So, like Darby described, this game involves having an insert, dropping it down in, and like we always say, don't just free fall this bitch because you could bust the whole top or bottom or everything in between out. And yeah, I'm blowing up the it. bottom. You know what, what I'm mean? saying? No, you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. John Wick. You don't want to drop it down and. <laughs> Just when you're setting up the pillar in there. But oh, oh, <laughs> that's why you tilt it. You knew. You knew. Sorry, you I see, had... we're good. You knew. We're good. Was... All right, so to play this game, the last part of it, and it's an important part, a crucial part, maybe not the only part that matters, but a part that does matter, the die, or the dice. This is true. <clears throat> this is going to determine how big of a dab we're going to be doing. Uh, the temperature, I guess, is up to you. 750? D2T is going to be in no account. I'm going to roll one die, you're going to roll one die. Okay. The die represents a point. If it's one, it's a point one. Three, it's a point three. Six is a point six, and so on. Get it? Yeah. Don't, don't roll a ten. Well, there's only one die. Got it. But Darby, uh, yes, he knows. At the same time? Sure. Let's Double go. snake eyes. My boy Scorcher and Scorcher. <laughs> Double snake eyes. So we only have to do a little dab. All right, what flavor is it again? Oh, we can just eye them up, but thank you. Tony Hawk was already ready with the scale and the parchment. I'm going to do bigger than a point one. He said you saw I guess you, you can to opt to go hotter. I'll feel like that's it. And I don't think there's any rules against going hotter. Make them whatever size. You thank made you. the rules, thank though, you, so. You better I hope not. Everybody gets the same. All right, what do you want to do? Do you want to go in bigger? A point one is the smallest Host one you did all choice. day. Host choice. Host says 750.5. Deal? Deal. Deal. That's how easy it is. Compromise. Split a jar with a friend. This stuff smells amazing. It's going to be like dab and orange juice. Lucky. Darby, are you going to partake in that dry dab, or uh, the big dab challenge? Hell yeah. <clears throat> point one, point five, let's go. D2T. D2 what? T? What's that stand for? Dab to temp. I saw it in his eyes, I got his back. <laughs> got gotcha. you. There you go. To temp. That's right. Thank you. Dab to temp. Dad to ten. Now I got all that that meme going off in my head. See? Dad to ten. See? We got him. We're gonna send you a T-shirt. D two T. Garbs. Here's your point five. So we got a couple point fives. We scaled these bitches up. If you're at home saying, "Meh, these guys don't even scale their dabs. What's the point of even ruining picking days?" Trying to scrape Fuck all you. the turds off lobster, the parchment. man. <laughs> there you yeah, go. Be honest. Point fives look a little smaller than I thought. Hey, is this scale regulation size? Oh, the scale is actually saying negative two, so these are actually 0.7. That's better. I can't reach that far. Fucking <laughs> 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 mm. Donnie. All right. I'm just gonna use the dabber. Fair mind, so we're all on regulation size. Do 
Yeah, that looks regulation. This is gonna be sick to watch. Holy oh. shit. All right, so I'm gonna go first. Do you wanna help me heat this up? Yes, sir. So you can do uh, like, you you just keep it here like on the bottom mm -hmm, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. go up and down. Mm -hmm. um, he can't even torch it by himself. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Dang, it like floats. Floats. When All you right. hit it fast enough, it's like an airplane wing, bro. Once again, do not try this at home. Temperature is guest choice. Dabs. Spun the die. Maxed it out. Oh, you're doing the Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you get the shaft, I get the base. That's technical terms. Don't drop a comment. Comment below if you want to challenge us. The code word is Oprah Winfrey. Leave Oprah Winfrey in the comments and we will get back to you. A rep will contact you about the challenge. Oprah Winfrey. You hear the sense. Not many things of heart. Back in my days. Back in my days, it was not like this. <laughs> We done use regular size slurpers. It was just them regular slurpers and then it just got crazier. Man, them kids just kept in long getting them nails until they were touching the ground like <laughs> Red kept getting smaller, nails kept getting bigger. Back in my day, we just had them itty bitty nails. <laughs> that got now pocket rocket. Y'all rocket. gotta walk around with the damn suitcase to open up your nail. Yep, yep. That's how I feel, man. They're Seeing all this, this These is crazy. These whippersnappers out here with their goddamn wisely duties and doodly what's, you know? Back in my day, we had it. it. It was it. You had it or you didn't. We had a goddamn titanium nail with a dome. Now yes. you what you got? Wisely doozy, wheelie you what I don't give a fuck. The zaza. The zaza, the oh, zaza, the zebra. Let's go. Look at them go. Let's go. All right, I don't know if this is going to work or not because I can't do them both at once. Fuck. Apollo 13, bro, he's going to the moon. Oh my god, this sucks. <laughs> oh, it burns. Yeah, I'm gonna go so zero. bad. This is, I'm gonna go zero. Ah. That's terrible. You don't <laughs> want to do it. Why not? Put it through the water. It hits you straight on the lips. It does? Yeah. Oh, it's like high ass smoke. You have till it cools down to fuck to get your number though. Come on, man, you gotta just freaking. I guess do a, do it like a five hundred. I went in at like seven hundred. Yeah, dealer's choice needs to go lower. Hey, oh, I forgot is... we're at seven fifty. So you guess we gotta do that. Yeah, you said dealer's choice though, or guest choice? Because it's a mini I would game. put it through the water. Put it through the water? Yeah. Oh. This sucks. <laughs> I'll try it. Here, all right. Here, this, this is gonna right, be my score right here. You guys ready? Come ready? Come on. There you go. Almost. Five. There you go. Five of forty, two hundred. <laughs> That's respectable. <laughs> Why did you do that all the time? Where's the mega slurper dunk, dunker? Respect, bro. Love it. <laughs> Good job. Thanks, man. Uh, we're here at the hot dabs. Support. We're here at the hot dabs. I burned my lip a little bit for sure. <laughs> What is this? Let it cool down to like a nice far 50. Look at this. Yes. What, what, time, what time did you go out I again? went in at like 7 something and it literally burnt, the smoke burnt my uh, lip. Yeah, it looked like it was all awesome. <laughs> Honestly, I'm curious of what this is going to be like because uh, No way, this is rubbing alcohol? I thought this was water. I thought you were going to drink some water. Oh, fuck. I got it everywhere, man. I got it all over your jars. It's okay. They're closed. <laughs> My jars. Jesus, man. They're closed. That's the main <laughs> <They're closed>. deal. <laughs> All right, don't do anything you just saw us do. No, do it. Do it all because that's the point of uh, smoking. Oh, I got a little bit. Right here. <laughs> I think I got a little bit on my dab, but I'm here, down for take that. Take a fresh dab. You sure? Yeah. I can smoke this. No, I, I can ain't, smoke Mama this. ain't raised no bitch. I like the style, man. I like it too. But we're not gonna let these fuckers in the comments. Meow. 
count. It doesn't count. Last day it doesn't count. There's ice show in it. Should I smoke mine or? Yeah, you're welcome to. Whatever you want. Bit, can, you, can, you, can you wave my I got, you. I got one already Just weighed out here. It. Oh, he wants to smoke his. Lucky. <laughs> okay, thanks, Darby. Hey, that exotic <laughs> yeah, turf, bro. I'm just fucking with you. Wait, was this the last one, though? This is the last dab. Oh, man, I can't break the tradition. We gotta save this for afterwards. Last dab mini game. Yeah, I'm glad that there's more. This is a half gram? Yep. Thank you, sir. <coughs> so while I have you for a second, I'd like to talk to you about low temp plate. No, wait, not even that. I was an hey, evolution. Darby, I wanted to ask you something. Yeah, what's that? All this hash that we're smoking today, what products was it made with? Rosin Evolution. Rosin bags, Evolution. Papers, everything. Wash <laughs> bags, bubble bags for those of you on the East Coast. <coughs> you want to wait here? You just want to scoop the rest of that? I'm just scooping it. Are you going to do the to clean it? I'm just going to clean the jar. It's really good. Seven hundred. I want to. Say, I want to make sure I'm scooping it and tasting the full of, full of it. The full experience. Yes. Oh, he's prepping it. I like that's respectable. You know, scrape, scrape that clean. I have a weird habit about that. I feel like I just fucking. I got you. Took I'll a hot you espresso shot to the mouth. Yeah, that's what that double banger tasted like. <laughs> <laughs> Did you taste the difference in the flavors or you took it too hot you said, huh? Too hot, yeah, but it seems fun. The cool thing about that double banger experience is if you take it at a lower temp, you can experience the flavor separately on your palate. I forgot I have my setup over here. Yeah, Let's you got a brand new one. He's ready to party. Can I move this over on the side yeah, while you I help me out? Over here. Yeah, perfect, thank you. Let's perfect, it's out of frame. <laughs> okay. I'll torch up while you torch up. Thank you, sir. You want me to do the bottom? Sure, I'll do the other side. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'll come to us too. What tent did you go at? Too hot. Do you know 550? <laughs> You went at 550? I did 7, 710. I don't know. I did like, I want to say more like 750 because I thought we had to do it at that. But it burned my lip. So don't, mm. like, we can on the black. Yeah, it's respectable, man. <laughs> Darby, you're going to hit it at that. Uh. Darby has to. <laughs> he did. But the turps are better at this place with uh, no water. All right, I'm probably pretty good at it. Dude, mad, mad respects on going at that. That was awesome. All right. Let me check it. All right, you're at a thousand, so we have time. Thank you, sir. Oh. What do you think, Dor? It was delicious, so it might have gone a little cooler than it should have. Mm-hmm. Gayaki. But you're, what, you're doing dry over yeah. there still? Yeah. Hey, good job. Appreciate dry it. boys. Dry boys. Wait, you've been dry the whole episode, Darbs? Yep. Masonic Tech? Masonic Tech. He said it Masonic works. Masonic Tech. And guess what? I'm high. It works. Shout Eat. out Masonic. Yeah, shout out to the uh, <coughs> boys on the on the east side. Like the, on the east side of the island. They like the dry ones. The Hilo side, yeah. All the Hilo, Pahoa, they're all dry boys. Shut up the dry boys. Yeah. Just trying to kick it with the dry boys. Hold on, hold on. See you out on the what, island. What temp are we at? 700 at the bottom. Yeah. That's how I got fucked. Isn't that what you... No, you don't want to do it. You're going to burn yourself. But that's what you said. No, I said don't. I specifically said don't do it at that. Oh. It's your choice. Go whenever you want now. You're at 670. What, it's way too cold up. You got to oh, go down it's too here. Cool. Just go. Just go. Go ahead. He's ready. Fuck it. Go ahead. You're just getting a number anyways, once yeah. or else. Whenever you get it up, we'll do the number. It's hard, right? Well, hold on. We need this thing He's to said, cool off on, real quick. On. Need to, this thing to cool off real quick. <laughs> Is it hot? One, two, three. All right, so you got two oh. there. Hold on. 
Okay. Okay. Is there hot smoke? Oh, look, we just maxed out the timer. One, two, three, four, five. All right, he got five right there. What's that number? Five at five? What is that number right here? I can't see it. I can't see it. <coughs> right here. What's that number? This one? Yeah. Seven. Five times seven. 350? 35, yeah. So you just set the record, I think. You just beat. No, no. Yeah. 350 on a dry boy? <laughs> oh, dry boy. That's registering. No, Dang. No. Right? Tony Hawk, what was your record? I think 350 just broke it. Dang. Island style. New high record holder for the last guy minigame. You beat me. And technically the game goes, you get the D, so it's like horse. So you get a D in the first person. You gotta play this round for round until somebody gets D-A-B. But we're gonna keep this going maybe over the course of like a year. I think it'd great. Yeah. I think it was perfect. It takes a lot out of you. Maybe we're just gonna end up calling it, like whoever plays the game once wins. Dad. But you won today, you set the record. 350. Leaderboard, check. You are in first place. Tony Hawk has been dethroned. Tony Sorry, Hawk, Tony. He might have to come off the ramp to try to get his record back. I might have to. So, <laughs> you did the 575. You did the 600. You did the 650. The 700 was no problem because you did it at 800. You have water. Water, please. Water, please. <coughs> and you did the 750 dry boy on an 8 inch black market glass. You set the record with the 350. Tony Hawk, good sportsmanship, bringing him a water after his record was broken. Thank you, Tony. You did it all. You came from the island. You set the new record. You told us a little bit about the subtleties and the grow, the difference in the terpenes, what it's like to be out there. Terps grow better out there. You showed us how you can rip it fresh off the press. You showed us all the different terps that you are known for. Mother Rock Botanicals. Nope. Everybody on the island, you showed out. Now's your time. Anything you need to say? Anybody you want to shout out? What do you have going on? Where can people find you? This camera, that camera, and that camera right behind you. Let's see. Uh, so, first of all, yep, shout out to Mother Rock Botanicals. He's been like the me best man ever, uh, best friend, best partner. All we do is uh, disc golf and one wheel and agriculture. And shout out to Rotten Evolution for this event. Shout out to, you know, Resin Deal, you know, Dustin Darby, all the crew. Appreciate you guys for throwing this. And um, yeah, it's it's really fun being out here. But uh, pretty some pretty red, and pretty good at, at it all. Yeah? Yeah, I'm pretty set. That's Stony. It. Yeah, we appreciate huh? you for yeah, joining Thank us. you guys. Thank you guys so much. Soon. Right. Uh, I'm gonna have to come out to Hawaii. Yeah, please. I'm really interested to see how some cuts would turn out out there. So stay tuned. There might be a little real deal resin, Mother Rock Botanicals pressing for show collab. Some genetics. Get out to the island and see how it turns out for you guys. I'm Absolutely. sure it'll be unique. Yeah. Um, I thank saw, you, Glob Mobs. Thank you, Black Market Glass. Thank you, Highly mm. Educated Rosin Evolution. Mm -hmm. Low Temp Plates, Preston for Show. Everybody that's watching, we appreciate you. Patreon, thank you for everything you saw the whole episode. I forgot to do that segment today. I know. Fuck it. Oh, yeah. We forgot to do the Draw How You're Feeling, the High Portrait. Should we do it? Yeah. Okay. Yep, it is gotcha. a tradition. So funny thing, I'm half colorblind, so I'm trying to pick it out. No and shit. What's what? So you I'm just gonna wing it. New every episode. Gonna... All right. So what colors do you think you have right now? Oh, I have a. Uh... Oh, you can't <laughs> read them. <laughs> what color? What color is it? Shit. You really can't tell? This is crazy to me. Yellow, right? Yep. Yeah, pretty much. Green, yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Blue. Yeah, he read that. Yep. He read them. <laughs> <laughs> he read them. But we're gonna give him the credit. This dude's killing it. Overcoming all the adversity. Um, never oh. say, never say you can't color with color blindness, because he's about to show everybody today. 
Damn, yeah. you're, you're quick at it. All right. I've been doing this for like three seasons, man. You know how good Dude, wait, what are we doing? Terrible, you but... What? <laughs> you would think parts, it would be a feel bit better. But it hasn't. <laughs> I was thinking about literally one day, I was like, damn, like I should just take a master class and just improve my life and get so good in between seasons that people are like, what the fuck? This kid couldn't have drawn that, but no, I haven't taken the initiative. So one day, people... What'd you say? I don't three, know. You said three different parts? Oh no, I didn't say anything no. about that. Can Darby just, just put three colors. Just draw at it? <laughs> yeah. Go at this it. guy's the limit. You can do anything. Alright. How you're feeling. It's kind of like how you're feeling. Inside, outside, kind of any side. Let's go. Sawing off the table over there. That's what I'm doing. Darby, was it your last picture stuff. that was crazy, dude? Yeah, this one's not looking crazy. I think Darby did something crazy. When we were in Mexico, Shiragam drew like a whole topography map of the city that he just saw as he flew into the town. It was crazy. It was pretty crazy. Well, this is not the color I thought. Oh, Violet Red. God damn, I gotta read shit before I draw. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah, that's why they label them. I never knew. Damn. Oh, if you need black, I'm sorry. I don't need black. I am going with all different colors for various things that wouldn't necessarily need it. Hmm. This is funny because I never. Damn, he broke the black. He's getting in there. That means you know you're going hard. A little too hard. I'm excited to see how it goes. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> Here, if you want to use white, definitely use that one. <laughs> Majestic. Well, I mean, I just got what I'm feeling on paper. Being blessed to smoke these fire turps. Boom. Big jar of fire. Whoa, Darby! Smoking. He has yeah, been taking this so master class or something. Fire. Dude. Yeah. He has been taking an art go. class. That's me smelling a jar of fire and it's blasting out fire. What about you guys? What are you doing? I'm gonna need that Darby. I'm gonna put that on that jar. <laughs> so for mine, I have a volcano going down. Maybe Hawaii, maybe, who knows. I'm over here parachuting into the volcano. Can't stop, won't stop. Down here, Preston Pacho is one wheeling across the volcano. Savage. And over here, Darbs is just chilling on the beach style. Trying to catch some rays. Just catching some rays, bro. Oh, it's kind of warm out. What's that? Oh, it's lava. Is that a guy flying into a lava? I'm coming to save my homies. I'm going to scoop both of you and then we out, but we're feeling hot from all these dabs in the lava. Boom. I guess it broke the black. <laughs> he yes. did. I know. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm we had sorry. an irate guest. He threw down the black, stepped on it. I was like, whoa. <laughs> he thought it was blue. <laughs> And then when he found out it was black, he broke it. No, no, it was, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it? Damn it. Where did it go? So far, you're... Pink. Uh, the whole ah, palette is on point. Violet you're looking red. awfully violet, Violet. Violet red, I don't know why that was black to me. What the heck? That was black? 
Oh, that's wild. Oh, my. Hear that? Come on, Crayola. Step your game. No, up. it's not Crayola. Crayola, it's, we've been, it's we've, me. Crayola, we've been carrying I, your ass for three seasons now. We don't even get a shout out. Yeah, at least send us a yeah, sticker. Yeah, recognize yeah, the people that are out here really using your products. Crayola. And guess what? Mm -hmm. Where's it at? Mm -hmm. And then the shit snaps on us after Mids. we've been using you. Very midsy. Crayola. Crayola. What the fuck? Where are you at, bro? This is what we can count on Crayola when we're trying to draw, when we're trying to express how we feel. At least double wrap the crayons, man. Come on. Crayola, if you need a more reliable packer, or I'll send you that. <laughs> <laughs> Savage plug. We need to just start making crayons. Yep. The new Rosin Evo crayons are coming out this fall. What are those like sipping uh, paint classes? We should just start yeah. doing that. that that's coming out too? That's coming out. And your new fresh off the press kit. If you ever wanted to do a fresh off the press dab, check out Rosin Evo. They got a kit for you. Real Deal Resin, Rosin Evo collab. Yeah, just wait till you see what you get. Real Deal Resin, Rosin Evo. Everything you need in one box. One click of a button, maybe two. Make sure your address is correct. <laughs> And you'll be squishing within 20 minutes out the box. Roz and Evo, where the winners go? Discreet packaging. Discreet packaging. You don't want your mom to know? <laughs> that you're a hash artist? A Pesky heart? uncle trying to hold you back? Brothers <laughs> trying to... Don't worry about your package. You're getting sacked. Roz and Evo, got your back. Oh. Everything you need. <clears throat> in one sack. It actually comes in a sack. Or a satchel. Oh, some that's not a man purse, but there were Skittles in there. <laughs> There's no Skittles. You don't get any candy with it. No, we're not exotic mm -hmm. genetics, Mike. Does he do it? Oh yeah. Nice. Trying to figure out what else to draw, but my brain is so fried right now. Let's see it. Nah, it's just nothing really. Oh yeah, it's perfect. It's actually beautiful. I yeah. love it. Don't mind this blank spot. I'm trying to figure out. That's called maybe a big, still, sig he's, big signature. He's building his uh, plot. I like it. No. Nah. Put a big sig. Big sig, right? Go big sig. Hashtag big sig in the comments, and you should go big sig. There's if a sign. Like, what's what's the dude's name? Big sig. Uh, no, John Hancock. That yep. notoriously went big sig. Mm. Big sig. <laughs> <laughs> like in the biggest moment possible. He, he did his part. <laughs> and then forever he's known for being the John Hancock guy. So like that's pretty. Yeah, come three, on. Three so John like, Hancock on I that. guess my mind's going to now is like uh, because what I've been doing lately is mulching. You oh, guys nice. do mulching? No. No. Um, I have some mulch. You know what that yeah, is? I have a lot of good mulch on my property. Yes. No. <laughs> Talk to me about it. It's a uh, tobacco and weed. Oh no. Huh? No. 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 Add a little bit of hash on top too, just no. to like make it. No. No. I wish. No. Oh. I wish okay, I was so that that's culture. the tobacco. But we don't. You're growing tobacco we around your hoop house. Yeah, you doing yeah. It. tobacco around and then okay. get the hoop house of weed. Hey, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. I like your style. Some so people that's like hot cool. Get the ocean in the background. That's so beautiful. I, and then trying to think of what I was going to do here, but I'm just going to do Big a signature. Sig. Yeah. For sure. Maybe a stick figure dog. The going crazy. There's no Big Sig. Okay. Let's start off with this white one. Okay. Trace. Dang. He's yeah. doing layered shit like uh, Nick Cage fucking. I like it. What's what the fuck? Where he steals the declaration. National they got National Treasure shit. Like, mm -hmm. you see this with the black light? Whoever scoops this is going to find a whole different. His recipe. For mm -hmm. what he feeds the plants is actually in here under a black light. Exactly. All the things you need to know <laughs> to make uh, better steaks than on the mainland. What is this one? Nope. Oh. Red got shut he down. He fucking hates that red violet. Every time he sees it, he gets pissed. <laughs> it's deceiving. Wants nothing to do with it. Keep that in mind. Red violet. Not for the blind of color. Oh, wait, shit. I forgot the little. Another <laughs> one. Yeah, it broke on us. Not very reliable. Mm. I guess we're going to need a new uh, 30 pack since there's no backup blacks. How okay. about that? How about that, Crayola? How about a backup per pack? Okay. Press show. Dang. Tripled up. Yeah, no. Tobacco. 
Let's go. I think it's a perfect picture. It's beautiful. That's going to go for a lot. I like it. Get the frame ready. <clears throat> Thanks, Sarah. All right. It's been another episode of Hot Dabs, the final episode of season three. Thanks, everybody, for joining us all season long. As always, we appreciate you. The Tricom Tortoise has been retired as the last dab mini game. Hold it in as long as you can, 900. And the new champion of the last dab mini game has been crowned going forward, playing the DAB game with a high score of 350 degrees. Press info show. Congratulations. Go follow him on Instagram at Preston Faux Show, not Fa Show. Faux Show, F O S H O. You know, Faux Show was originally for for my, huh? For organic solventless hash oil. Well, now we find that out. <laughs> my name, you know, so uh, my name's Preston, so I just made it easy. Of well, that's Preston beautiful. Show. So now you're gonna always remember that Faux Show because of. For organic solventless hash oil, or everybody just says for show. For show. show. And there it is. I like that. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for Oz and Evo, Low Temp Plates, everybody at home for leaving comments all season long, joining along. We'll be back for a season four. Darby, thanks for everything. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you guys. It's always a good time. And, and Darby's going to leave his hair recipe in the patreon so if you want to look like that you better join the patreon patreon you're my favorite <laughs> all right i think that's it right all right that's a fucking wrap <laughs>